Happy New Year, happy January, happy almost birthday to my father, and it's the day of the show, y'all. Today we're gonna switch things up, and we are not going to be talking about a Broadway musical, because, little known fact, some of the greatest musicals ever created don't go to Broadway, like The Thing About Men, which had an off-Broadway run from August 2003 to February 2004 with music by Jimmy Roberts and book and lyrics by Joe DiPietro, who also wrote Memphis. The Thing About Men is a really strange, but very fun musical. The Thing About Men goes like this. There's Tom and Lucy, they are married. Tom is cheating on Lucy and having an affair with his secretary. He comes home and finds out that Lucy is cheating on him with a guy named Sebastian. Tom does not tell Lucy that he is cheating on, cheating on her? Cheating on her. We can keep that. Tom doesn't tell Lucy that he is cheating on her. Instead, he kind of just rolls with the story that Lucy is cheating on him with Sebastian. So in Tom's mind, he's like, well, I have to figure out more about the Sebastian guy. So he stalks Sebastian. Again, the one who his wife is cheating with. Long story short, he finds out that Sebastian needs a new roommate. Tom moves out of his apartment and becomes a different person and moves in with Sebastian, unbeknownst to Sebastian that he is living with his lover's husband. Does this make sense? Am I making sense? Yeah, right? Okay, cool. So let's just recap. Tom and Lucy, they're married. They're both cheating on each other. However, it's only news that Lucy is cheating on Tom with Sebastian. Tom moves out. He sneakily moves in with Sebastian. Sebastian has no idea who Tom is. Tom is faking a name named Milo. So Tom is Milo. Um, and chaos obviously ensues because what do you think happens? Obviously. Um, Star-studded cast, Mark Kudish. I hope I don't have to explain who that is, but I will. Trevor Graydon, Thoroughly Modern, Millie, Wild Party, Nine to Five, Apple Tree, about to be in Girl from the North Country, I, uh, star. Jennifer Samard, who was nominated for Disaster, just finished Mean Girls, and now is going into Company, star, 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 star. Daniel Reichard, Jersey Boys, oh my gosh. And Leah Hocking, who has been in like 17 Broadway shows and you should know who she is. The show won the 2004 Outer Critics Circle Award. The Outer Critics Circle Award. The Outer Critics Circle Award. It won the award, congrats. And then Jennifer Samard was nominated for a drama desk for Outstanding Actress. Go Jennifer. So this is a song called you will never get into this restaurant. And it's basically a mater d' who doesn't have time for you. Mater d', right? Is that what it's called? So, yeah. I've never f said it. I never said it. Like I'm never, I'm, I'm never like, hi, I'm applying for a mater d'. I'm like, <laughs> I'm a host, right? Yeah, yeah. Mater d'. I think that's what it is. Maitre d'. Maitre d'. Wait, what? It's maitre d. It's the host, okay? It's, it's the host of a restaurant. That's what it is. You will never get into this restaurant, so I even attempt. The waiting list is longer than you've ever dreamt. We're very, very popular. We're very hip. On our radar screen, we're not even a blip. So why even bother? Goodbye, au revoir. I'm sure there's a McDonald's that's not very far. Now, now, don't get snitty, don't get catty. Do I stand here and call you fatty? May no, because we're both so mature. Well, I am, I don't know if you're sure. There's the door, don't come back for more. No encore, she dresses like a whore. No, I said nothing. Goodbye, more to more. Wait, what did you say? Did you call me gay? Well, touche, what gave it away? My witty repartee is your no say, but I love your lame. Oh, 
popular. 